I wanted to talk about goal setting, lots of hand movements. I'm Italian, get used to it. Set long-term goals, otherwise you'll just end up fat again. I've seen it happen more often than not, where somebody comes in, they do really well, they set a goal, they get 70 to 80% of the goal, and then they start falling off the wagon. Because they taste some level of success, they've put in all the hard work, and then they're like, yeah, I'm good. Here to tell you, you're just wasting your time. You aren't becoming better mentally. You aren't becoming better physically. You're just encouraging yourself and teaching yourself how to fucking quit better the next time. You don't get better. You just get better at quitting. And I'm here to tell you that you need to really revise your approach, give it an absolute overhaul if you aren't achieving the goals that you want to achieve or you're falling off the wagon and going back to being fat again. Sorry. Just is what it is. I've been there. I've helped people who are back there again. And it just, I like, it does my head in it. It's really just sad to see as a coach. I love the time that I spend with my clients, but nothing hurts more than when you see someone just fall off the wagon again because they've just given up. It sucks. It sucks to watch. It sucks for them to experience. You just end up wasting a bunch of time and money. And nothing, I don't think, annoys me more than wasting time on this earth. So my advice to you is set some big, scary goals that you want to achieve. It doesn't have to be competing. It might be like that you want to bench press like fucking 150 kilos or something. And that'll keep you geared up to a, achieving a physique that can lift that. Or let's say you want to be, you know, 9% body fat for walk around at 9% body fat for a year. I think that's a fucking cool goal, right? Where you want to be super lean for a whole year and you want to see what that feels like. Great. But when you set a goal for a day you're fucking yourself, especially if you're not an athlete and you're not competing or something, right? And you're more likely to obviously compete again. There's another chance to do that. If you're just setting yourself like wedding day and then you're gonna fuck yourself for after the wedding day or you set it for this day, etc., and then you fuck yourself. As soon as that day's over, it's munch, 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 munch and back to your former self. And it's just, it, you don't deserve it. Nobody deserves to have that happen in their life. So guys, if you're watching this, set longer term goals, commit more. You can afford a trainer, you can afford a program, you can afford commitments, stop making excuses because no matter, you can sell some dumb shit on fucking eBay for a hundred bucks a week. You're telling me you can't make a hundred, you're telling me if gun to your head, you can't make an extra hundred dollars a week to afford a trainer, please, please, spare me, okay? There's a thousand ways that you can use a, even an hour of your time to sell shit and buy shit that'll make you a hundred bucks, right? To facilitate you having a healthier, happier life. Set a massive long-term goal, two, three years. That'll keep you driving to a massive, a really cool and attainable long-term goal, but it'll stop you worrying about stuff that's short-term. So please take my advice. Think of a long-term goal you really want to achieve. Zoom out a little bit and then zoom in on the details of what you need to do. Zoom out again and enjoy your life and enjoy uh, the journey that it takes to get to where you want to be with your goals. Hope this video helps. If you like this video, please follow me on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram at Riz Fitness or the 12 Kilo Coach on Instagram for all online coaching needs. Hope you guys are well and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.